Head of the Criminal Investigations Department, Superintendent Issa Pear, says the Royal Grenada Police Force will foster interagency collaboration to address the issue of cross-border criminality, particularly in relation to the surge in gun violence. He said going forward, the RGPF will put more emphasis on shared intelligence and shared efforts to deal with the possibility of cross-border criminality. Because Grenada is a porous country, we have porous borders, one can never eliminate the possibilities and the movements of persons connected to the underworld. We will be engaging, I've already um, um, spoken with my my. And, um, drug squad counterpart uh, with respect to interagency operability. So we'll be looking at what we can do in order to m gel um, um, the, the okay. intelligence and our efforts in going forward. We, 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 we do not want to, 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 to work in isolation um, of each other. Police believe criminal networks are taking advantage of Grenada's geographical location, which makes it susceptible to smuggling and illegal trafficking of firearms. The proximity to neighboring countries makes room for opportunities to transport weapons across borders, making it difficult for law enforcement agencies to track and intercept these illegal activities effectively. Assistant Commissioner of Police Vanny Kerwin, during a press conference on Tuesday morning, said with the return of Superintendent Pierre as head of the Criminal Investigation Department from September 4, 2023, there are new strategies to arrest the illegal gun situation in the country. One of those strategies being implemented is a review of gun licenses. Ms. Fire, yes, there, there are considerations that are being given to, to how firearms are being um, made available to members of the public, the application process, and um, what needs and needs not um, um, be done. So to answer you, yes, there are discussions that are happening as it relates to processes for issuance of, of licensed firearms. Meanwhile, the return of Superintendent Pierre has allowed more officers in the field to assist with solving the remaining unsolved murder cases. A suggestion from the opposition New National Party for the government to consider seeking international investigating agencies to assist with solving crimes on the island is seen by Assistant Commissioner of Police Vani Kerwin as not necessary. I, I don't think that there is anything at this point that is beyond the, 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 the resources beyond the experience of our local police officers that we need to go outside. However, having said that, no amount of assistance is too much. But I don't think we are at the point yet where we believe that we need external help in any of the matters that we are currently investigating. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.